in the days leading up to Christmas, the once bustling motor parks uh, in Kaduna State now echo with a subdued atmosphere as commercial vehicle operators witness a remarkable decline in passengers' turnout. That was once a hive of, or what was once a hive of activity during the Christmas season has transformed into a deserted park. Passengers and drivers at the television garage point fingers at the surge in a transport fare, a consequence of the escalating cost of living in Nigeria. Trust is Bello Musa has the details. The once vibrant journey from Kaduna to Port Harcourt or Asaba in a luxury bus previously priced at 18,000 Naira has seen a significant spike to 23,000 Naira. Aba, another destination, has surged to 25,500 Naira. The journey to Makodi, which was once 7,000 Naira, now demands 9,500 Naira from passengers. This surge in transport fare is a direct reflection of the rising cost of living, creating a ripple effect across various destinations. The price is highly, highly over high, and that is why people are not coming. Let's take out uh, 2022 uh, Xmas. That is the same thing. By this time last year, you cannot drive your motor inside this place because the luxury bus are here. Everybody, their people are coming. It's not like before. Since increment of since they removed subsidy, so the price is so high. We are just working for filling station. It's not like before that we go road come. We have balance and spare part. Everything rise up. So we are all our own prayer and Isaac. Where you come down so that everything can go normal. As now, money has increased. Before we used to, from Koi to Kaduna, is 2,000, 2,500, but now money has increased. And you know, things are because for this nation now, we don't even know how we're going to be through now for all those kind of things. That are happening. As the transport sector grapples with these challenges, traders are serving to share market share similar sentiment, low patronage is evident and buyers are quick to attribute this to the prevailing economic challenges in the country. Just to matter, we're there for season for Christmas. If night before, you might not go get, I'm not going to you at on time myself because of market. If they say now season, why they say December or 15, that 15, we know the lie will go come to do and lie. We thank God because we are alive. We are not talking about uh, Christmas being nice or not being nice. As long as we are alive, there is hope. By now, it's supposed to see plenty of people demanding for fish. But as you can see, nobody. They will only ask you for price and go. Because the price is high. Or the, the patronizers is not coming the way it ought to be. Because they don't have money. Very high. I actually came to buy cassava to mix my corn flour. And she's telling me 1,800. Something we buy 900 before. So you can see the difference, the gap is much. The traders collectively point to the economic inflammation in the country as a key factor contributing to the prevailing hardships. They express their optimism, determined to celebrate Christmas in a good health, transcending the current challenges. Trust TV is good enough.